7. Um, and we will see the story of the daughters of Sephirohad and their courageous deeds and how that impacted many generations of women after them. It all started with their father dying and then they had no brothers born with them. There was a law at that time saying that all property belonging to a family will immediately come to the young boy or man. This a law affected the, um, the, the daughters of Sephirohad because they had no brothers, they had no father, which means there's no male characters in their family, just the wife and the sisters, I guess. If this happened, when they went to promise them, they miss out on all the fun, which is pretty much getting all the, um, the house building up and their freedom. So um, when these daughters um, got this news, they were like, what will we do? They, they must, most of us will be like, let's all cry and whinge and we'll say everyone, what unblessed group of people in all of Israel. Well, they didn't do that. They fearlessly and walked up to Moses and said, well, with our father's property, we need a share of that. And Moses was like, what will we do? I don't know what to do because this didn't ever happen before. In all of history, women are less superior than men. Which meant he didn't know what to happen because that's not usually happening because women are not like every day coming to them and say, we will want this to happen. And then he said, I'll go ask God. And he went and asked God and God said, these are right. This, the daughters of Sephirohad, the request is correct. And the, and the story ends with them having a house in the promised land. And because of their braveness, they actually, um made a change in a whole law, which is quite impossible to believe, but they did it because of their fearlessness. And to conclude this, I would like to say that when we pray or request something to God, we should be like them, fearlessly, and we should earnestly say, we want this God, and God will definitely grant it to you. And in, in God's eyes, He created all of us. He doesn't, there's no qualification needed saying, oh, since you're black, since you're white, I'll be giving you this. Since you're black, I will need this. So he there's no say black or white people, or young or old people, or um and young man or woman. Nothing like that. He, there's no qualification needed in front of God's eyes. He will never hurt you. And he God is love. So whenever you request to God, always be fearless. Thank you for everyone to listening to me. God, may God bless you.